Hello everybody, it's Kevin here, a movie collector maniac. I'm going to show you the ways to catalog your movie collection. Uh, I'm going to show you the ways I do it anyway. and You can do someone pr pretty much similar to what I do. So these are pretty much how I do the, my cataloging of my movies. I use a DVD profiler on Windows and for my iPhone. Uh, what's good about it for the iPhone is when I go into a place uh, that doesn't have good Wi-Fi, I can uh, I can pull it up and uh, it's all loaded on the phone, so I don't it don't have need it don't need uh, internet or web to uh, search to see if you have the title or not. So that's one good thing about it. And plus, you can scan scan in the the movies. Using a UPC in your your phone, just scan scan the UPC code. So that's real good. And then uh, yeah, also I use uh, Blu-ray.com. Uh, they also have an app called uh, My Movies that you can download. You can also scan scan your barcodes in with it too, and that's all free. So I don't know how much the DVD profiler charges now, but uh, it's a pretty good app to use. I mean, I mean, there's plenty of different apps you can use to catalog your movies. Anyway, yeah, those are a couple of ways I catalog. And then I also have uh, my own uh, Google Sheet, which is basically Excel, but Google. You can download you can download the Google Sheet into an Excel uh, format if you want to. I did use it because it's available online, so that makes it pretty easy. I'll I'll leave a link into the description of this video with the link to my uh, Google Sheet. And also my uh, movie collectors uh, or collectors.com uh, account. You can look in there if you want to see what movies I have. Uh, but yeah, I use the use the Google Sheets, and then I use the collectors.com to catalog my movies as well. Those are the four different uh, ways I catalog my movies. I'll go ahead and uh, show you my uh, my Google Sheet, show you what I did with it, and and I'll go through uh, I'll go through collectors.com a little bit too. So we'll probably do collectors.com first, and then go go to the Google sheet so yeah everyone this is my uh, collectors.com account it says I have uh, 7,888 movies but uh, some of those are duplicates like I have two or three of one title sometimes like if it's a 3d or, or special edition or something so that's not really an accurate count of my total movies but I guess it's pretty close anyway there's there's different ways you can search and format or like search for things search by director and all this other stuff you can create your own folders as well uh, yeah so this is a uh, different stuff you can do you can like uh, search for different actors or anything like that like I have a tag for my still books so I can just type in still book and it'll pull up all my still books uh, probably got 358 of those Uh, then you got uh, ways you can edit. You can click this to edit. Edit the genres. You can go in here and edit the genres or click whatever genre you think it might be under. I may basically use IMDb for basis of the genres. So, and then click the additions, like whatever format you own. Like I own 4K, uh, regular Blu ray, and I got all the digital versions in here as well you can type put in an addition right here for that purpose if you want to do that uh, post I was already on here for you you can put in the purchase date your price and everything like that too this is where I put my tag for a still book so I can search for it easily and you got your covers the alien 40th anniversary still book uh, got your plot and then you can link you can put links in here i put the voodoo link in here you can i can also add my like movies anywhere link i guess and then any other link you want to add to it so yeah that's that's the way to do that if you want to like look at uh, the actual alien uh theatrical like it'll pull up all this and it'll show everything most of the time it'll have a trailer or something down here. It's got the cast and crew. You have your personal 
information down here, your edition details. So, yeah, that's basically all about uh, it for collectors.com. And then, of course, you can go to uh, Blu-ray.com. It's a good uh, website to use for, if you want to find bargains on movies as well. And then you have, uh, of course, uh, when you log in, you can type in the movie, and it'll come up. Uh, like if you want to add Spiral, uh, you get the 4K. There's, you know, you got the regular 4K or a still book. I got, I have the still book version. You click on it, and then just go down here and add to your collection. And then of course they got the the app on your phone is uh, the My Movies app where you can just scan the barcode in, which would be a lot easier to do that way. And then uh, you can of course you can go to uh, uh, envelos to download and get the DVD provider for uh, the Windows or the, or your iPhone, iPad, or Android. All right, I got my uh, DVD profiler from my computer pulled up. Uh, I guess that was the last movie I uh, entered in with Daybreakers uh, 4K. So yeah, uh, like this one, uh, the counts off on this one because they have eight thousands on movies. So some of these like count the Blu-rays and DVDs. You have to go in and like make sure they're like. Uh, you have to go in and add it to personal information and make sure it says count as zero if you have a Blu-ray and DVD. So I haven't went went and done all that on all these movies yet. So that's why the count's off on this. But but it's a pretty pretty neat little app too. I like using the, the like I said I like using the. The phone app when I'm in the store that doesn't have a good signal for my phone to uh, search for things. So since it's uh, already basically downloaded on your phone, so you know what you have. So yeah, that's the DVD profiler. Uh, if you have any questions or anything, feel free to email me or, or anything at uh, movie collector or movie dot collector dot maniac. Uh, at gmail.com I believe is my uh, email account I'll show you my uh, Google sheet uh, that I made that's still kind of a work in progress so I'll go ahead and show you that next so yeah this is my uh, Google sheets that I created uh, just named it Kevin the movie collection so yeah I got the artwork uh, I got the title with the voodoo link embedded so you can click on the voodoo link it'll take you to the uh, voodoo or take you well take you to the voodoo page and then of course if you're logged in like it'll say did I purchase did I have that title purchased so that has and then of course you got the IMDB link I put in here as well click on that it'll take you to the IMDB page uh, then I had to go in and type in uh, all the IMDB ratings, but one good thing about that, I'll show you in a little bit. So yeah, I froze the top row and then froze their first two columns, so they'll stay in place. Of course, you got the year media type. I just type. I just put in the like the highest media type that I have. So if it, 4K, of course, would be the highest. Uh, next would be uh, 3D Blu-ray, and then Blu-ray, and then DVD, and then, of course, digital. But you can go in and click on here, and then you can, it's got a little thing. You can select your what it, whatever it is. So I can select Blu-ray. Let me go over to uh, genres. Uh, you type in, like, I got the genres in here. We uh, put what genres it is, and then... Of course, I have the the rating, the minutes. Sunrise is that it'll it'll you can look up here and it'll have the function. It'll have the function to uh, 
if it says action, it'll put an X over here. Same with adventure. So those are how the X animation, of course. So and then of course the rest of them won't have an X because it doesn't have that. Okay, so it has all of those. And then I have a subgenre uh, I have in here. It's like uh, these are like a put aliens, apocalyptic, uh, B movie based. Then for my sports movies, I'll have like uh, all the sports and then buddy comedy, chick flick, claymation, comedy, thriller. Anyway, I'll show you all the means for that in a little bit. And this, this is where you, uh, I just have it saying yeah, like you just click right here and put yes if you have the 4K. Same for 3D, Blu-ray, Blu-ray, DVD. Uh, on the digital copy, I have the function for if uh, if I have it uh, saying digital on uh, F2. It'll uh, put a yes here for me automatically. And this one right here, it counts. Basically just sees what all you have here. And for is uh, 4K, 3D, and Blu-ray and DVD. And it'll just count it as one physical movie. This is where I have my voodoo. You can type in, you know, I type in, uh, well, just click whatever it has for that. Got my movies anywhere. Same way, 4K, HD, SD, and then X if it's not available, or whatever. iTunes, Google Play, and then this is the column where I put if I watched it yet. And then actually put in all the actors in here. I'll show you the way I did that too. This is also where you can uh, select the actors or whatever from from a list. So if you start typing, it'll, it'll automatically pull up like that one, uh, like Martin Land Landau. So just put that right there. I have it all the way up to I think 26 I believe yeah 26 because there's some movies that have a lot of a lot of actors in them this is where you have my collector edition series notes and then just regular notes right there so that's all I have on my uh, movies own page or whatever of course uh, you scroll down to the bottom of course you'll have the totals down here I just put average that's the average year of my movies <laughs> that's the total uh, movies I guess this is where all the the totals for the actions and the, like all the genres have them down here There's the function for that up there. So I stop counting my still books right there. So I have 342. There are a couple that uh, a couple of movies I think I have like double still books. Like I have a, a Blu-ray version and a 4K version now. So that counts a little bit off. Uh, then you got the uh, there's another function count if uh, function if it has yes it'll tell you how many I have of each same way with that one it'll just count all of them a lot of functions or oh, of course I zoomed in to this so y'all can see it better I think I'm like zoomed into 100 75 percent or something so you don't normally have it just zoomed in when i'm working on it that's all on the movies own tab let's go to the totals tab i'll show you that got my total 4ks and 3ds and regular blu-ray dvd digital i actually put it down to a percentage <laughs> so i got a still book uh 
So te- it's technically, I guess, the total movies I own is 7,577 because that's counting the movies I have on disc and then my digital movies. So, or digital only movies. I don't have a uh, physical copy of those movies. These are all the TV seasons I have on disc. That shows my uh, voodoo. Uh, Voodoo movies, uh, yeah, let's say, uh, this shows all my voodoo movies right here, I think I have a few more than that right now, that just merged, uh, Fandango just merged with Voodoo, so, I think a couple of them came over from Fandango. I gotta figure out which one they are. Of course, you got iTunes, iTunes uh, TV shows. I even broke it down to movie ratings, like how many R movies I have, non-rated, uh, PG-13, all that. I have all that in there. And then I just did the genres. I just uh, pulled those over from from the totals on uh, Movie Zone. Uh, and then I have uh, links to my uh, Blu-ray.com account and my Collectors.com account on here. Let's go. So this is where I pull all my genres from. I had to make this because you know it only lets you do a certain amount. That's where I pull down list. Other than creating a a different sheet for the pull down list for the genres. So I had to do that. Uh, went ahead and did the total over here, just to know how many I have. Each one, there's some that I only have like one of, like action, romance, sci-fi. Only got one, all that. And then I have to have a pull down list. So I had to create a sheet for the for the actors. Uh, I believe I have yeah 2,989 supposedly actors in my like more uh, people that uh, most people know you know this is where I have you can look and see how many I have of uh, of certain actors uh, of course John Wayne is my uh, most most of uh, most movies I have is from him acting in it, I guess, which is 96. Of course, there's 426 movies that I don't know any actors in, or that are not known or not well known, of course. So I just put none available. <laughs> anyway yeah John Wayne number one Samuel L. Jackson to Nicholas uh, uh, Bruce Willis Nicholas Cage of course they've been making mostly crappy movies lately just putting them out putting movies out left and right you got Robert De Niro uh, Morgan Freeman yeah I started adding their pictures and stuff of course I have uh, their links there's uh, some more functions if you want to check out these functions if you want to create something on that I have links to their uh, IMDB IMDB page in here and then uh, of course the voodoo uh, filmography page Yeah, that's the cast tab. Let's see. Those are where I put my. I just made like a. Just moved stuff over from the the movies uh, tab or whatever. Made a Steelbooks metal metal pack uh, collection uh, sheet, I guess. This is where I have the subgenres pulled down for the subgenres. 
and then I have a description description of each one so if you want to read about them you can and of course I have my TV shows in here uh, I have started to add, add in uh, links to those on Vudu or, or yeah I think just Vudu and then I have a tab for my uh, Vudu TV shows uh, I have where it has my uh, year well UV's not around anymore so that really don't matter anymore so I could get rid of that column now I guess but there's the there's the the definition they use HDX on Voodoo to the HD and the SD of course and then uh, they don't have any TV shows in uh, Ultra HD or 4K so and then uh, I have this one tab for non movies I have like a couple of documentary movies like five or was it six of them I guess and I made these t uh, iTunes and all that, but I haven't uh, worked on these lately. I need to update all these. So I have my Blu-ray.com uh, movies anywhere, and then that's pretty much it. This is my row template, so I can copy and like when I get a new movie, I just copy here and paste it over, and then all I gotta do is add everything to it. So. All right, yeah. So I zoom zoomed back out to like a hundred percent. So now you can see it, see more of it, I guess. Uh, so yeah, the, the IMDb rating I had to type in. One good thing you could uh, when I filter filter everything, you can uh, sort. You know, so if you do uh, Z to A, which would be highest to lowest in number number format. So yeah, the highest rating movie is uh, Shawshank Redemption, of course, which is a great movie. Of course, you got The Godfather, and you got a couple uh, documentaries in here. You got the Vietnam War, Dark Knight, uh, Godfather Two. Of course, you got all the Lord of the Rings movies. So that's one good thing about uh, creating a spreadsheet where you can uh, search all your movies. You can search by. Uh, the rating or whatever you want to search by really in the genres if you want to just search all uh, action movies you can clear out this and then put an X and it'll show all the action movies so that's one real neat thing about doing it like this having a spreadsheet where you can search this way Same thing with uh, 4Ks, you know, you can clear them out, but yes, we will show all your 4Ks. And then, you know, of course, you got the case type uh, you can search for. It's only uh, three different case types to have: Digibook, uh, Metal Pack, or Steelbook. So, if you want to search by, I don't have too many uh, Metal Packs or Digibooks. Let's see. I only got like six or seven Metal Packs. Uh, Digibooks, uh, probably about seven or eight of those. Anyway, yeah, that, that's one good thing about having a spreadsheet like this. You can search for uh, certain stuff. Uh, of course, I mean, if you want to search for certain actors or something, it's best to, like, just put Control F and then you can type up here, like, Robert De Niro. And it'll have all of his. Says they got 72. And then you can just scroll down and find the movies he's in. If you want to watch all Robert De Niro movies. 
Anyway, guys, that's that's pretty much my uh, couple of my four. I guess my four different ways I uh, keep track of my uh, movie collection. I appreciate y'all watching. If you if you need any uh, help with a spreadsheet or a Google sheet, I mean, just let me know. I can uh, help you out. I guess. So yeah, then you can export this as. Yeah, Excel file if you wanted to. If you could, please uh, like and share and subscribe if you haven't already done so. I appreciate it very much. I'll see y'all on the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody.